Okay, so my fantasy about this cabin was to be up in that loft in my bed, really in a cocoon or maybe a nest of pillows. Gabe isn't there. It's just me lying in like a bounty of pillows and like taking a nap. <laughs> It's 186 square feet in here. Uh, we did some Insta stories showing you how all of these boxes that we bought from Target and Amazon for the cabin were blocking our front door and then they were blocking our entrance into our apartment and we kind of had to like squish by, we couldn't get in. Um, but we thought we'd do an unboxing for you. We're gonna do it here at the apartment because obviously this stuff is all bedding so most of it I wanna clean before I actually put on the bed in the cabin. That way it'll make our labrication really extra nice if we actually get that bed in. So let's begin. This is our first box and I don't really know what's in here. Oh great, so we ordered a lot of pillows. You're gonna see many more of those, much to Gabe's uh, chagrin. <laughs> is that your thumbs down? I said from the very beginning that I was gonna have a lot of pillows. I think he did not believe me, but he was wrong. We got, okay, the Aller E zippered mattress Cover. So I have to have these zippered mattress covers for all of our mattresses. There's one on the bed that I'm sitting on right now just because I have really bad allergies. I'm allergic to all the things. So uh, we put a mattress cover and then we also put uh, a mattress pad over top. So there's an Allergies mattress pad. So what happens is like we're going to get the mattress and we're going to zip it up in the allergy cover and then we'll put this on top and it's like extra squishy for comfort. We have the quilt. So I know we did an Insta story vote where you guys looked at all the quilts. So this is the quilt that we selected. It's the Threshold. It was the number three choice. I just like it because it has like this little raw edge. I think that's going to be casual and kind of fun and natural looking for the cabin. All of the comforters that we picked were gray, but as you guys saw, there were a bunch of different grays. I mean, that was four different types of gray. So I think this goes with the sample pretty well and we'll see it when we get it on the bed. So I'm excited about this. All of the quilts that we were selecting come with shams. And so these are the shams for this quilt. Again, it has the raw detail there and I'm going, we got two of them. I'm gonna open one up right now just to show you what that looks like. So here it is, here's the sham. So again, that detail all around the front here and then on the back, there's no zipper closure, it's just this little like pocket closure right there, so you can see that. And then I like the shams that have the piping around the edges, like here, where it's just like, I guess it's not totally piping, but the piping effect, um, as opposed to like where they have like the little fluffy edges. I just feel like that when the pillow's inside, it really stands up and it's gonna look good, hopefully. I got some pillowcases. So we're gonna have a lot of pillows on the bed, like I said, lots of pillows. So. This is one of the pillowcases that I got and it's just the threshold. It's the performance pillowcases. And so most of the stuff that I bought was on sale just because people are going back to school and like they're decorating their dorm room. Um, these sheets were not on sale. So I guess this is one of the more premium things that Target sells. Um, so we got these pillowcases. Ooh. And then of course the allergy protection goes on my pillows as well. Again, so super allergic to everything. If you guys have really bad allergies, I feel like this really helps when you cover up all your bedding stuff because if you're sleeping eight hours a night or 10 hours like I like to, uh, then you really don't want your face on things that have like a lot of allergens. So that's this. That's the first box done. So let's go into the next one. What's in here? Oh, okay. So these are the sheets that I got us. Again, it's that Threshold Performance Sheet Set. And this is like the mauve color, mauve on white. There's a pattern on it, which I think is really pretty. Hold on, let me grab the other sheets. So they kind of have the same color. So it's gonna be a solid pillowcase and then two printed pillowcases and then obviously the flat and the fitted sheets in here. I think this is gonna be all pillows. <laughs> Ah. Okay. 
more pillow protectors. So for the pillows that I don't sleep on every night, the decorative pillows, like the ones in the sham, I still put protectors on them, but obviously I don't sleep on them. I don't put my face on them. So I put some protection on them, but not uh, the super allergies ones. So these are a little bit cheaper. Again, more overfull pillowy goodness. I'm so excited about these. <laughs> Gabe is in the background shaking his head. Oh look, another pillow. And another pillow. This is gonna be so luxurious. Okay, so my fantasy about this cabin was to be up in that loft, in my bed, really in a cocoon or maybe a nest of pillows. Gabe isn't there, it's just me, lying in like a bounty of pillows and like taking a nap. <laughs> Um, so this goes to achieve that goal. Oh, this is going to be so great. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh no. Everything's falling. So this is the Amazon box that I didn't even know was an Amazon box. And I had no idea what was in it. So let's open it up together. I think I figured out what was inside actually right after I filmed that Insta story for you guys. But let's... Ooh. Okay, so I'm not going to take them out of their adorable wrapping, but these are comfy, comfy buckwheat pillows. So I'm going to show you, they're wrapped up like this when you order them. And so these are pillows made of buckwheat, they're super heavy um, and supportive. So I'm going to show you this pillow here that we sleep on in the apartment. So. It comes in this organic 100% cotton case. It has the zipper closure right here. I'm gonna open that up and show you guys all the buckwheat inside. Look at all of that. And so you can customize these pillows. You can take out the buckwheat or actually they give you extra buckwheat so you can put more in. And they're really supportive. They're very solid, heavy pillows. I sleep on my side and my back. I feel like it gives me really good neck support because I have a lot of neck issues. Um, and additionally, the reason I like these is they're kind of like yoga support pillows. So if you've ever sat on like those little yoga bean bags, um, I feel like you can do the same thing with these. When I sit in this bed here, it's like really supportive for my lower back. So I kind of like it as a bolster. Um, I really feel like they're multifunctional. So we got two of the buckwheat pillows for the cabin. And then we got four, yes, four of the other pillows. So I can make my little, my little pillow den and take a nap. Um, so that is it. And I really wanted to say that I tried to look at a bunch of other places to get sheets and things. And I really felt that it's hard to commit to kind of that, that stuff when you're buying it online and it's hard to see in person. Um, I spent a lot of time in Target and I felt like Target was really affordable. So for all the Target stuff, we got that in under a price point of, you know, $260, which I thought was a really good value. <laughs> is the completion of a project and we're both still trying to process what this what this sensa like the sensation of this the feeling of this is it's pretty wild yeah i think we spent so much time trying to reach this goal i didn't realize that we would actually reach it i know that sounds weird <laughs> <laughs> but but we did and now it's like it's taking a really long time to sink in we've, i mean we've obviously finished other projects before we finished tiling the bathroom Getting the shower on was kind of a big deal. Yeah, water was huge. Yeah, uh, but it's just a blip compared to this. This we've organized our entire project around this for the last solid year. Mm -hmm. Like we had to. So going back to this time last year, we had to get the roof done. In order to get the roof done, we had to get the porch roof done first. Right, that was terrible. Because that was going to kill us if it stayed. If it stayed up for very much longer, our porch roof was not actually attached to the house with anything. It was just attached to the siding. That was a problem. So that was going to be a big problem. So we had to do that. Then we had to replace our roof ourselves because we had some leaks in here. And we couldn't do the plaster here 
without doing the roof first. Like, right. It's just going to crack. If we did it first, if we did the plaster first, it's just going to all crack. So we had to get the roof done. That was last September. And then we started on the plaster for the walls. And then we spent the next four months doing the plaster panels and the ceiling. This is like months of weekends and like holidays. We started on the ceiling panels over Christmas break. Yeah. Last Christmas. And, uh, and then we had to like take a break from that, rebuild the stairs so that we could have something solid enough to get the drum sander up to finish the floors up here. And we had to do the floors and then immediately start painting. Yeah. And now we're here. And it's just wild. It's a year later. And we hit our, we hit a peak. Yeah. This is, this is awesome. That's amazing. We slept in here last night for the first time. Yeah, it was great. It's and really quiet and it's so relaxing. This mattress is unbelievable. Yeah, this is the parachute mattress. This is a queen bed, and uh, we've never had a queen bed before. It's huge for us. We just sleep in a double. We've always slept in like a full. Um, so this is a queen bed. It's really roomy. I didn't actually think it would take up so little space. There seems to be still a lot of space up here. So this loft is really a lot bigger than it looks like it is, uh, which is so wonderful because it's like kind of airy and spacious up here. So. Yeah, it's really relaxing. The side tables really worked out great. I'm so happy we had those sconces in because we never had light on the side of the room ever, even when we were working. So it was really great to just have that light on that side of the room now. Yeah, it was just really peaceful. And we woke up actually rested. I mean, Which is so bizarre. <laughs> the air mattress isn't bad. Like, it's definitely better than the floor. But, uh, I mean, we felt, I felt energetic and good today. I, I forgot, I just hadn't realized, like, how much sleep I was missing out on. So it's nice. It's nice to feel rested and like good. Yeah, my main worry now is that we just won't do any more work ever again, which we totally are going to do work. But I just feel like, why work when you can sleep or this take is, a nap? This is less than a day. <laughs> <laughs> this concern has fermented over less than a day. Like we're we're never gonna work again. Yeah, we're totally gonna work again like tomorrow. Anyway, but that's what gets log houses done. Mm -hmm. So just keep. Keep at it. Just keep working on it. Show up and move our arms and legs. That's our, that's our little motto. Yep. It's got us this far. Hey everybody, thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to tell you that you are all invited to hit the like button. And please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of our videos. And uh, we'd welcome any comments or questions you have about our project in the comments below. We'll answer everybody. See you next time. Thanks.